Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. This time from Venice. We're here with Gégé Le Cunt, who make these extraordinary watches. You might remember last year I was here with Gégé for Venice as well. So we're here for Venice Film Festival. Me and Alex are here together. We have just been to a private um, viewing of the newest collection of Gégé, and everything is just literally so exquisite and beautiful. I'll show you that now. Okay, so this watch is like super special. This is like a tribute to a watch that Shizhe made in 1929. So you press the diamond and the leaf opens and then beneath it you can just see the watch beneath the, the clock. It's so tiny. And the reason it's like this is because back in like the 1920s it was quite rude for women to check the time and check the watch. So Zhezhe made the special watch so that the leaf covered the time and it looked like they were wearing a special piece of jewellery. Isn't that so pretty? Real cool. Oh, look at it shining though. Let's put my ring to shame. No. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but now I need to get ready because we've got a red carpet to attend. I've got a stunning dress from Dior. I've got my Zhezhe watch. A hairstylist is on their way over. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I need to do a little bit more makeup, top this up, make it a little bit more glam. And then yeah, ready for the red carpet. Okay, I am ready guys. We had some slight issues with the zip on the dress and then the hairstylist, but it's all fine. And I am ready. This is a full Dior look. Oh well, slightly. The shoes are Aquazura, so like silver with the gold and the silver in the dress. The dress is Dior, the bag is Dior, and my watch, of course, is Gégé Le Coute. It's a brand new rendezvous style. It's so special, it has gold numbers. It's so, oh, it's so beautiful. So it's like my statement piece with my whole like silvery and gold look, so it makes it two. And I just throw my hair together because I don't really know what else to do, so I've come to like a really messy bun. Which you did yourself in about 30 seconds, right? <laughs> Alex helped me put the pins in. Well, that was the key to it really, I think. And my lipstick is Tom Ford Alexander, as always, in case I need to know. My whole look. Looks amazing. It's a shame you can't see the sunset. Hello! <laughs> so there, you can kind of see what we're seeing a little bit now. It's beautiful, right? We've just sat down for our meal. We are at Otto, which is at um, the Belmont Cipriani. It looks very beautiful. It's the most luxurious space. It's stunning. Um, looking out over the boat, it's the most romantic, romantic place. So I'm just celebrating with Zhezhe. We're having a beautiful glass of wine. Everyone's having some Prosecco. <laughs> Look how smart Alex is. Show everyone your watch as well. Isn't it beautiful? It's such like a gentleman's watch, but sporty, cool, edgy gentleman, isn't it? I, love I mean, it looks, it looks, <laughs> good of a, looks good with a suit. It think, looks like, with, so like, good. With t-shirt and jeans, I think it'd look great as well. Yeah, it really would. It. And then obviously, oh, we're having our Prosecco. And after a little bit of food, we're heading to the red carpet. Guys, okay, so when you order the salad, and then it looks like this. This is a crunchy salad. It's like deconstructed. It has over 50 vegetables in here. <laughs> but look at your dishes as well. Hello. This looks incredible. It's important, but look at the details. Yeah, the details are wow. So beautiful. And on to our second course, another beautifully prepared meal. I can see <laughs> English man having a beer. Yeah. Standard. Standard. <laughs> so British. I can feel it. Getting eaten alive. <laughs> We're just walking now to the red carpet. Having a quick drink. And um, are you looking forward to this? I can't wait. I know you love red carpet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Run to the end. <laughs> and we're watching we're watching a British film, I believe, with Rachel Vice. I kind of like that we don't know though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. number three billboards outside Ebbing, yeah, Missouri. Last year we watched three billboards and it blew our minds. So. It was so good. This is going to be great, I think. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. Just bright That's lights at the minute. Yeah. Towards those very bright lights. <laughs> Okay, we've made it through the red carpet as you saw. 
Halloween. The movie just out. Do we know what, what it's called, the movie? The favourite. The favourite. I'll report back soon on what I thought it was, but I'm sure it's amazing. But we're playing celebrities spotting right now. We're celebrities spotting. All the beautiful stars are here. Emma Stone's here. Kate Blanchett. Everyone looks beautiful. <laughs> Emma Stone. <laughs> Olivia Corman. Good morning. It is half past eleven. Hey guys. Oh, and the battery's blinking. This is how we spend our mornings. <laughs> Editing continuously photos in a rush, trying to get them up ready for the right time. Whilst getting ready for breakfast. <laughs> While being somewhat still jet lagged. We've only been up since, I think we got up at half past ten. But bear in mind. We're so late. Yeah, but we, we had like three hours sleep yesterday. Yeah. I really wanted to head into, um, what's it called? San Marco Square, is it? San Marco Square, yeah. Um, but we can do that in the next few days. Exactly. So it's all good. That's better. We had a dying battery. Hmm. So we've got omelette with beans and avo and oh, toast. Avo, yeah. So this morning, um, obviously last night, the engagement video went up live. Yeah. Um, which has gone down really well, actually. It's always quite scary putting something up that's so personal. So personal. Yeah. Um, but I knew that you guys would love it. Yeah. And that everyone would like to see it. Because, I mean, I love to see those moments. I always thought, I really hope he films it so I can keep that moment. And also show, like, friends and family. And you guys are friends and family, so I'm so happy. So, we've had a couple of reaction videos rolling this morning. <laughs> So funny. We had a reaction video from our friend Kyle, he was like an amazing photographer. And it's just him, he's put the camera out while he watches it, literally like um, Kyle reacting to the In The Fro engagement video vibes. It's just so funny. He's just got the biggest smile for the entire time, he's like, my mouth hurts. And I saw you edited it as well, he edited out the tears. I saw, those, I saw those jump cuts. Do you reckon he edited yeah. out the tears? <laughs> my mum didn't even cry. Really? Yeah, for heaven's sake, mum. <laughs> And yeah. then we got um, play a little bit of the voice note of Amelia. Oh my God. I think Amelia's walking down the street watching it. My just there. Sounds like she's out and about. She's playing with Duke or something out and about. And she just, she just sent us. <laughs> I'm literally bawling my eyes <laughs> And I haven't even gone through the whole video yet. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny. We're seeing her tomorrow. I can't actually wait yeah. to see her. She's going to go psycho, I think, <laughs> when she sees us. I'm like, right. Oh, she's, she's so, so awesome. funny. If you don't follow Amelia, I think I think a lot of you guys will already follow Amelia, yeah. but if you don't, it's just Amelia and Liana. I'll leave a channel down below. She's like one of our best friends and she's just, oh, she's amazing. And like we said in the engagement video, she helped Alex, her and her wonderful mum helped Alex to get the ring. So last night was amazing. I don't know if Alex caught it on the vlog or not. I'll have to insert a clip. But I was wearing my pretty Dior dress and it was all sparkly and all the photographers were like, spin, spin, it was so cute. It was like a princess moment. And then we watched the film. If you've ever seen The Lobster, it's by the same director as The, as the Lobster. And in honesty, we weren't keen on The Lobster. It was very unusual and it ends abruptly and you're like, what just happened? And it was similar to that. Incredible cast quite a bit, like a very unique storyline very be but it was beautifully shot it's so strange it almost feels like an indie film the way it's shot mm. lots of like wide shots but it's, it's so like fish eye lens shot it's almost like you're engrossed kind of watching it just because of how strange it, it is yeah you don't know what's going to happen next is that would you say that's a comedy slash it's, it was quite dark, dark humor wasn't it mm. but incredible cast amazing acting Definitely a very cool one to watch, especially if you're into very arty, cool movies. Yeah, so this was very, very cool being there. Emma Stone was there, Benedict Cumberbatch was sat right behind us. Very cool. Mm. Mm. So now, what are you saying? We've got till five. We've got till five. Which is today. very rare. Yeah. So this is great. I mean, we're here with Gégé Lecoult. They're an incredible brand. Yeah. The most stunning watches. You were in love with this watch. He's now going to want me to buy him this watch because it's so beautiful. Which I thought was a thing, like when a guy proposes to a girl, the guy gets the girl a ring. 
and then you buy <laughs> a, a very expensive lovely watch for me. No, well no, it's, that's, it's right for the wedding. It's quite a tradition for the wedding that the woman buys a man, the man a watch. Really? So maybe that can be a potential wedding gift. We'll have to see how nice you are throughout the engagement. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just so thrilled to be here again with Zhezhe the Coupe. They're just, oh, they're so lovely, they're an amazing team, they look after you. So happy to be here. So I think we've just got a full day of shooting ahead of us. We're going to get ready, get some Instagram things ready and edit. Blog posts. And then, yeah, we'll go out and shoot, and then we'll come back and shoot in here, and then we'll get ready. Yeah! That was terrible. That was also bad. That was really good. Thank there we you. go. Okay, it's been it's been a long but very productive day. The weather today was not amazing. It was crap. So we spent all day actually in the room, getting loads of work done, being really productive, haven't we? We've got loads done. But now we're ready for the Zhezhe the Coupe Gala dinner. It's somewhere really special. Um, it's going to be a lot of different sort of bloggers and press and journalists from around the world, I think. So it's going to be really special. Look how gorgeous that looks like in this black tie. This is from Next. I don't know where my shoes are from, really, from here. They're gorgeous. Um, are they not the ones I got you from the special ones? Yeah. Grenson. Grenson, yes. You look all right, don't you? You don't look too bad. <laughs> no, you look beautiful. Really, and I've just had my hair done. I was going to record the whole process, but... I mean, do a close-up. These pins are stuck in so tight that actually... In your skull. Watching me do it, we've been like hilarious to watch. I was like... <laughs> um, yeah, so my dress is by Maria Lucia Hohen. I got it from Louise Via Roma. I just love her dresses. I think I wore like that yellow dress that I wore for Cannes last year. It's from there. And then I have my Zhezhe Le Coute Rendezvous watch. And lots of Dior accessories. So I've got... Lots um, of Dior. Uh, this is Bulgari actually though, but the rings, apart from my engagement ring, and the necklace, and the big tribal, tribal earrings are all from Dior. And, and I have my bag for this evening is this little beautiful Lady Dior, with the cool um, Dior thing. Charms? Charms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is my whole look. It looks great, doesn't it? Are you hoping for another picture again like last night? Are you going to do your spin? I want to get another wow. picture because I got a really great red carpet picture last night. You may have seen it already on my Instagram. I love that picture. It's so princess. So we're, uh, we're on our way now to the gala. It's just a shame that the weather is really not that good, but still, I mean, Venice is beautiful regardless. Tonight is also about cinematography. Gégère Le Coutre has been associated with cinema for many years already, all around the world. It's both familiar and strange. But when you put pen to paper and slow your mind in that act, or convert thoughts into the written word, you in some ways suspend time. I think we'll leave those open. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the chance to time travel. So I want to thank in advance all our magnificent performers here. Wow. We are in the most beautiful setting at our Zhezhe Le dinner. This is so great. This is the fanciest looking clam chowder I have ever seen and I'm not going to complain. It looks delicious. Wow, thank you. So, um, this is our last night with Zhezhe. And I love how everyone keeps celebrating our engagement for us. It's so nice. We keep having lots of, it, lots of celebrations for our engagement.
just met up with everybody. We had some breakfast. We've seen Amelia and Tamara and all of the Armani team. We just checked in the Gritty Palace and this is just spectacular. This room is so Venetian and just this is extra. Be it's just beautiful. Look at these wardrobes. It's oh divine. We've just got some little treats and we've got some Armani beauty bits. Oh, what's this? Are these presents? It's be. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh wow, that's heavy. What is oh, this? Wow. Oh my gosh. Congratulations on your engagement. Oh, do it Tori and Alex, congratulations to the most beautiful couple. What an engagement. We're absolutely thrilled for you and excited to enjoy Cloud9, all our love, Liz and the Armani Beauty oh, team. Oh, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a little gift? Little. Yeah, wow. It looks so heavy. I'm guessing coasters. I think coasters too. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's like our engagement one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is just amazing. And they're all the pictures from after the engagement. This is absolutely That's incredible. That's such a good idea. That is really, really special, isn't it? <gasps> Thank you so much to Liz and the Armani team. Yeah. We love you guys so much. That is just it's such a cool idea. That, that is just so special. Okay, I need to quickly put a little bit of makeup on. Right, guys, finally, you might remember me talking about these, the Eye Stellas from Armani Beauty. I mentioned these probably a couple of months ago, not realizing that they weren't out yet. They are out now, and you might remember me talking about these and how amazing they are. So these are the Eye Stellas. This one's in number three. It's a deep chocolate brown. This one's number five, which is a rose gold. And this one is number four, which is more of a, so it's more of a copper gold. But the payoff of these and the texture is absolutely like incredible. They just feel like airy and light. And honestly, they give the most incredible eye looks. I don't know if you can see that. And I've not tried this one before. It's like chocolatey shade. They're just gorgeous and you can build them up and build them up and they're just so like shimmery. So I'm so, so glad they're finally out. Then Armani have launched these Quattro palettes. This is number one, Notorious. Hello. That is gorgeous. And then below, two little brushes and a mirror. Then we have number five, Paparazzi. Lovely little light brown, some like a shimmery beige, shimmery white, and like a deep navy. And number two, which is my favorite, Avant Premiere. Ooh, hello. This is sort of like a lighter shimmer. A copper shimmer, um, a chocolate, and a nice like easy beige as well. So they are brand new for Armani Beauty. I think people will love them to bits. So the super exciting thing about this trip, which you may have seen on my Instagram, was that um, Armani Beauty have given me an exclusive shade. They've just launched the Rouge Diamani Mattes. Rouge Diamani Mattes. And I was able to choose a colour that was so me and it was my exclusive shade. So only a very limited number have been made. And I did like a swipe up to buy on my Instagram. If there are any left, I'll link it down below. But you won't get this anywhere else other than via that link. It's super exclusive. It's like the Victoria shade. It's number 505. It's like the perfect cherry red pink lip. Oh, it's so me. Like I only wear cherry red lips because it just works really well with my skin tone. So it's literally perfection for me. Oh, it's so exciting. Plus the, it's this incredible like matte finish as well. So I'm so excited. Like how amazing my own Armani shade. <laughs> literally incredible. So yes, so that's what's happening. And that's why I'm here with Armani. We're launching my shade. So if you're one of the lucky people who managed to get one of them, amazing. If there are any left down below, I'll leave the link. And maybe just a few left, you never know. But yeah, super exciting. But otherwise, it's definitely worth having a look at the Rouge d'Armani mattes because it's an incredible consistency. The colour range is amazing. So even if you can't get mine, maybe you could get um, another one of the shades. Anyway, I'm going to get myself ready quickly and head on out. This is my lip. So this is 505, this is my exclusive. So some lights it looks really like vampy red, other lights it looks a bit more pink. It's kind of like this modern pink red. I absolutely love it. Okay, we're ready to go. Isn't this lovely, this dress? I really, really like this dress. 
a little self-portrait number. My wear silk bag and my Armani beauty lip. All ready. Is that the last one? Yeah, and for the for the cushion tone up, um, our um, face design. Okay, so this is shade 102. This is like the nude shade. I love the packaging and the mat. So cute. How perfect is that nude? It's definitely you, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing, pink nude. How fun. Look how tiny Amelia looks. You can like, so uh, she's your so cute. Bag. Okay. We've just made it into the Armani Beauty Suite. We've got all of the new products. Still absolutely adore this packaging. So beautiful. They've got rouged Armani mats, all in the different colors. They've got the new tone up cushion. This is the new eye drama collection that I was showing you earlier. All the different shades. And there are more shades of my favourite eye stellas. This blue. Oh, these are so we've finished up at the Armani Suite. We've come back to the Gritty Palace for lunch. I've just been served the cutest looking avocado toast ever. It's like a mousse. Mm. And everyone else has pasta and it looks incredible. Oh, is that mozzarella flakes on the top as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. We are out and about in Venice, having a little root and tooth around. A root and tooth? A <laughs> root and tooth. Yeah. a little look around, really. I've got a little bit of time before my hair appointment to get my hair all nice. I think we've got to be back from... now, haven't we? What time is it? What time is your hair appointment? Five or half four? About half four-ish? Yeah, it's half four. It's half four now? Yeah. The time has flown by. Okay, so, I need to get ready for the red carpet. I'm just going to do a few little touch-ups. Armed with lots of Armani. So choose my favourites. Start off with some luminous silk. My lips are still really red, but from earlier when I was wearing the red lipstick, that that is how amazing it is at keeping its colour. But I'm putting red over the top later as well, so perfect. I just literally just want to just enhance the skin again, just with a touch more foundation, just to sort of brighten it up. I don't want you in us back in. I mean, do you know what? I'm really loving this brush for this. Real Techniques. It's almost like the stippling brush, but it's become a new favourite. New favourite for foundation at the moment. Just wake up the skin a tiny bit. I'm gonna add a touch of my nails concealer. Just this very in the corner, just for that absolute perfection concealer look, which I like. <laughs> and I generally just like to use my fingers with that much more coverage on it because I just want to look for this look I'm wearing a suit I'm wearing like a power suit from Armani so I just want the whole look to be very perfected don't want too much going on in the eyes wow look at that one Hollywood blues whoa cool I just really want a warm brown and I've not quite got that in those palettes so I'm just going to go back to my trusty La Mer bronzer to be honest just whisk that through the crease I'm just going to go back to the eye stellas. This time I'm going to put a little bit of the rose gold over the central bit here. Just want that like pop of shimmer. These honestly are so good. They're probably one of my favourite eyeshadow formulations now that I've ever used. I think they're incredible. Yeah, I'm doing red lips, so I don't want anything too heavy on the eyes. Bum. Okay, a new um, eye tint in number 12. Alright, I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Just up drawing that in. I'm just going to touch up, blend it a little. The La Mer Illuminating Powder. I just really like to add it as a blush. I think it's really quite subtle and pretty. But again, don't want too much. Because this is much more about contour. I'm just going to stick with my little bit of bronzer. I want my face to be really bronzy and also really illuminated, like loads of highlight. 
So then when you've got this red lip, in the middle it just pops. Big time bronze up. My chairs everywhere because this is the only bit of me that's on show. So I can just pretend that I'm really tanned right now. Right, what I'm gonna do last touch-ups, go over my mascara. The check I've not touched it with any of the product on my eyes to ruin it. In an ideal world I'll have taken off my mascara and done it again, but I'd rather just go over the top. Her stylus is on route and I am almost done. All I want to do is add a little bit of basic gimme brow into my brows. Just a touch more colour. Okay, I'm just getting ready. Now for the red carpet, I'm in my Armani suit. It's so cool, I've had it all fitted. I've got my hairstylist with me getting ready. I've got my red lip on. So I'm pretty much ready to go. What up? Oh, hi. The up no shot. Oh, I know, yeah. I love the up no shot. <laughs> Make sure to get my double chin. <laughs> Okay, red carpet time. Round two. All done. Look at my red lips. Feels so like Howard. This is my red lips. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And welcome back to Infro at Venice, part two. I realise I'm not showing you my full outfit, so. This is this is my Armani power suit look. Just my usual bra. <laughs> so killer. But it's super cool. And then I just put it on with my can you see? My Shambito. Honestly, these are one of the best like, investment shoes I've ever got. I've worn them so much. And then my Armani. A little bag Ooh, to match. Full rhinestone vibes. You're a real rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> and the slip back look. <laughs> Full power girl look. <laughs> Killer. Okay, we have Welcome just... Welcome to my house. <laughs> just follow me in. You can see anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, are we first? Or is no one else joining us for dinner? <laughs> wow, this is incredible. What do you think? This is amazing. Hey guys, good morning. We are on our way around a little bit of Venice, going for some lunch. It's our very last day today. I know that I was wearing my red lips last night, and I was saying that you guys might be able to still buy it. Um, I don't think that's the case anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, I've just put the whole thing live, my pictures, and I think, I think my lipstick may have already sold out in about an hour. So um, I'm very, very sorry, but very, very exciting. So any of you guys that got my lipstick, please take a picture and tag me in it. I want to see you guys with lipstick. It's perfect. It's the perfect red pink. I'm so, so happy. So thank you guys for all the support. Always. You. Make it my day. So we're going to go um, get some lunch and have some pizza to treat myself before we leave Italy. And uh, yeah, heading back to the airport soon. Oh, such a beautiful day today. It's our final dinner. So I went in all, all in on the Italian dream. Lasagna. Bon appetit, guys.